welcome to the show. I'm your host, Josh Bourne Fowl, and today we got Mary from Naka, who gave birth to a beautiful baby boy, but she still claims she's a virgin. Her boyfriend is not too sure, and he says it's belong to him. Now, he says he feels he's 100% sure that this child is his, as Mary has a reputation for getting around according to the boyfriend, that is. He also states that Mary gave the three wise men a gift. So he's here to see that the child is still his, for he firmly believes in it. So now, let's go to Mary's story. Now, Gabriel, I told you I can't see you last night. I asked Sophie to babysit JC, and she said she won't because it's rag week. Uh, hi, I'm Mary. I'm after having a beautiful baby boy with God. His name's JC. Joseph thinks that he's JC's father, which is absolutely ridiculous because I'm a virgin. I just can't wait to see look on Joseph's face when he finds out that he is the father. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Mary to the show. <laughs> welcome, Mary. Now, before we get started, we just want to go over what we just watched. So you say that Joseph is not the father? No. Okay and that J.C. is a child from God. That's exactly right, Josh. My boy J.C., he's gift given to me from God. So, let's see now. You said Joseph's not the father, but you're in a long-term uh, engagement together. Yes. Yeah. A uh, big relationship. But you say the relationship is not sexual. No, oh no, I wasn't brought up like that. I was brought up proper, you know. Okay. So, can you tell us how you met? Yeah, so it was about two years ago. I went down to Dale's to get some juice from a vape. And he comes up to me and he slaps me in the arse. And he says, it's your old man a baker because you've got a nice pair of buns. And I says to him, nah, nah, me dad's in the door. And I turn to him and I says, are you duvet? Because I'd love to get under you. Okay. And the rest is history, really. So that's it. A bit of ass slapping and duvets. Okay, well, look, um, you've been in this relationship now a long time. And you say you never slept together? No. <laughs> so, Mary, can you explain to us how you got pregnant? Yeah, so I was sitting at home, I know, at my ma's, and I was watching Love Island, and an angel just appeared before me, and it frightened the shite out of me. And the angel says to me, you are going to carry God's child. Wow. <laughs> and how did that make you feel? Well, I'll tell you, Josh, the first thing I thought when I heard I was having a baby was they get you some beans. Beans? <laughs> I'm afraid you're going to have to spill the beans there, Mary. What are you talking about? Cash, dough, bread. You know, like Jade down the road, she has six kids and she's pure minted. <laughs> you mean child benefit? Yeah. So, Mary, you're saying an angel came down, visited you, and chose you to carry God's child. Fuck's sake, Josh, you can't be that slow. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. And I'll tell you one thing, I'm glad it did happen, because I don't know what I'd do without my boy JC, you know, if anything happened to him. I don't know what I'd do. Well, you don't have to worry there. JC is in the back with a member of our staff. And have a look. <laughs> ah, look at me, baby boy. Yeah, yeah. just one more thing. Um, Joseph says that you have a bit of a reputation for getting around, you know, and that's uh, you gave some gifts to the three wise men. That is a load of bullshit, I'll tell you. Yeah. I went to a gaffer a few nights ago, and I met three lads there. The only thing I gave them as a gift was a sip of my nagging. Joseph just got weird and paranoid about it, that I was hanging out with other lads. Everything he's saying is absolutely baseless. The accusations are fucking awful. He's an absolute dickhead. Okay. Mary, do you know what we'll do? We'll give you a break. You can go outside and you can see a, a JC and take a break for a while and we'll call you back later. Okay? There you go. Right, well, that's interesting so far. Join us in part two because we have a big surprise for Mary because we're going to have Joseph on the show. Now, Mary doesn't realise that Joseph is here. 
So there's bound to be some fireworks when she realizes and finds it out. Don't go away, we'll be right back. Do you smoke the odd doobie? Do you think lighting up fags is a great time? Well, bad news, dickhead. Setting fire to something and breathing in its smoke is fucking lethal and makes your face look like a leather sack. But don't worry, hey. Come down to Viper's Vapors today and get addicted to this shit. It's unreal. I know the cigarettes are bad for you. These are unproven. But at the moment, we don't know enough to know whether or not they're bad for you. I'm the snake you can trust. Snake you can trust. Snake you can trust. Get on down to Viper's Vapors. And welcome back to the second part of the Confession Box. In this part, we're going to meet Joseph. But first, let's see what Joseph's story is. I am Joseph and I'm GC's real father. Um, although uh, Mary claims to be a virgin, even though I know for a fact that we've slept together many, many times. And I just think she's just delusional. She's off her head. And oh, I just can't believe I'm on the show right now. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Can we welcome Joseph to the stage? <laughs> Sit up straight, will you? Fuck off. Listen to me now, you wannabe tug, okay? This is not some street corner. This is my show, all right? So you better get some respect and sit up properly, okay? And act like the person you're supposed to be, okay? Right, so Joseph, you claim to be the father of JC, and you say you had sex with me. Yeah, that's right, Josh. Yeah, I um, yeah, there's a lot of BS that I heard that um, that Mary came up with this crazy idea that um, that an angel came down and you know put the the child in her, and I just was like, that's not true, and I you know, and I was starting to think that maybe she was back on drugs. Drugs? She, she didn't tell you that, did she? No, there was no mention of drugs. Well, what, what type of drugs did she take? Coke, weed, cat, MDs, fucking everything. Like, okay, well, first that's interesting because, it, well, if that's true, okay, this, this could explain why she thinks the baby came from God. It could also explain why she thinks she's still a virgin. <laughs> No. So I, I mean, like uh, you know, like after she went clean about a year ago, she she you know came, became a bit brain damaged and uh, was a bit delusional. I think. Yeah. Drugs, you know, they do long-lasting damage to the brain. Mm -hmm. You know, and you certain that the child is yours? I'm a hundred percent certain because okay. about ten months ago, Mary and I had sex and I didn't use a Johnny and you know, one thing led to another. JC was born and you know I mean all the signs are there so it's it's I think it's very okay. obvious but okay so look um why why you know if you're 100% certain why are you on the show uh because she keeps denying that I'm not the father and I want to come in here and prove to her that I am the father yeah I, I completely understand the show okay so what we'll do is we'll take a commercial break now and we'll be right back Remember when we used to sit around the table and talk? Not about anything. Just talk. Had someone to turn to when we needed good advice. And we used to get together for dinner and say grace. It isn't hell, but it's close. Bogans. Isn't it about? Time? From the Church of Old Nick Co, Moon of Foma. And welcome back. I'm joined on stage by Mary and by Joe. So today, when Joe came, we sent him for a DNA test. So the results of that are waiting. So, and as well, we sent Mary out for a lie detector test. We're still waiting on them as well. Now, the reason for the lie detector test was because Joe wanted some specific questions answered. So uh, while we're waiting, you can both have the opportunity to talk now. Just stay in your seats, talk to each other, see if we can sort this out. Remember, there's a baby involved, okay? The floor is yours. Who the fuck do you think you are talking about my drug use like that? I could have said something bad about you. Believe me, Joe, and I fucking What the didn't. fuck is wrong with you, man? Why can't you clearly fucking see that, I, that JC is in fact mine? 
Oh, he's fucking not. We told you we did not have fucking sex. He's a child of God. Oh, oh wow. God. Okay, here we fucking go again. Fucking fuck you. Oh, you think you're so fucking fuck you. cute? Fuck you. You think you're always right? My dad's fucking cunt. You dad's fucking cunt. I swear to God, he fucking kill you. I swear to God. I swear to God. Right, 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 right. Calm down, calm down. Okay, okay. Okay, so we have the results for the lie detector. Okay, are in. Okay, so Joe, these are the questions you asked us to ask Mary. And the questions are, Mary, Joseph wanted to know, did you sleep with the three wise men? You said no. The results say, that's a lie. You did. The next question we asked was, Joe wanted to know, did you love him? You said yes. Joe, that's the truth. <laughs> I knew it. Okay. So how do you feel about that so far? I knew I was right. I was still shocked about the whole thing. I so fucking like you. Always thinking the worst of everything. Completely fucking ignoring the fact that I actually did fucking love you. Hold on, hold on. Let's calm down. Okay, the next question was, Mary, are you a virgin? No. <laughs> we can already tell uh, you have a baby. So that means you're lying. Uh, That's so wrong. I want money like that. Look. The results say you're not a virgin. Mary, okay? it's impossible to be a virgin. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So another question was, have you had sex with Joseph? You said no, and it came back. That's a lie. What? That's okay. impossible. Uh, look, look, look. Hold on. So the last question that we have for you is, did you take drugs? Are you on drugs now? Okay. You said, now remember, this was only a lie detest today. You said no, and she was lying. I don't see what the big deal about it is. Look, 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 hold on, hold on, here we go, here we go. Thanks, Nathan. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. The results of the DNA test. Here we go. <sighs> right. So we're doing this to find out if... Joe is JC's father. <sighs> Joe, you are JC's father. I fucking told you this morning. <laughs> Joe, I'm sorry you had to put up with this for the last few months. That's okay. That's okay. But what you got to do now is you got to. Try and fix up your relationship with Mary, okay? And become the best parent she can for JC. Okay, so look, if you want, go, she's outside with members yeah. of the staff. Go, go to her, go to her, give her a hug, and we'll try and sort out this. If you need any help, we're here. We'll provide counselling and everything else, okay? And we'll help you along the process. So off we go now to Mary and JC. Thank you very much. Thanks very much. Good man, good man. Off you go. Hello there. My name is Josh Vaughan Fowle, and I'm the host of The Confession Box. Here we listen to stories from people who may not have their stories heard anywhere else. So if you've got a story to tell, and no one's listening, we will. I'll get my team out, we'll check it out, and we'll get you some answers. So don't forget, we're on every week on CNN. Now, you can, con you can contact us on theconfessionbox.com. That's our website. You can free phone us on 1-800-123-5678 or you can email us at theconfessionbox.com Remember, nothing is useless in the confession box. Thank you very much.